G'day cocktail lovers, I hope you're doing well. If things are a bit stressful for you, as they are for many people around the world, hopefully we've got a cocktail to just help ease things through a bit. Now, I'm often looking for, is there an anniversary or is there an official day for something or an unofficial day for something? And a lot of the times it's a beverage. It seems like every drink has its day. And today is Mai Tai Day. Uh, well, apparently there's two different days that are called Mai Tai Day, but today is one of them. So it's gonna be a Mai Tai. Classic of the tiki culture. The Mai Tai has quite an interesting and contested history. It goes back to uh, two of the titans of the tiki world, Don the Beachcomber and Trader Vic. And there was a lot of argument between the two of them who actually invented the drink. So much so, it culminated in a court case. Long story short, Trader Vic won the court case. He had actual witnesses to uh, the creation of the drink and it was friends of his and he made it up on the spot. It's like some aged Caribbean rum, curacao, lime juice, bit of sweetener. Off you go, bit of sweetener, not bit of sweetener. What am I saying? And uh, his friend exclaimed uh, in uh, a South Pacific language, uh, words along the lines of Mai Tai. Again, I won't even try and pronounce it because I'll get it horribly wrong and offend Tahitians if I say it. But it basically meant the best. This is great. This is the best. So the Mai Tai. And uh, so legally, Trader Vic is officially the inventor of it because it actually went to court. But that basic recipe of Trader Vic's is your essential Mai Tai. Now you can mess around with it a lot and people do. But the core thing is a rum, a lot of people say it should be an aged Caribbean rum. Some people put two rums or even more, but it's like rum, maybe two rums, some curacao or triple sec and orange liqueur, uh, lime juice, a bit of sweetener. Generally, orgeat is recommended to be half the sweetener and half sugar syrup, and you get that slight almond taste. And you can fiddle around the edges. I saw some really quite elaborate variations when I was researching cocktails. I'm not going to go too elaborate, but I am going to have a bit of fun with it. First up, the rum. I'm going with an Australian rum uh, because I'm feeling a bit patriotic supporting local creators and I also don't have any Caribbean rums on me. Uh, but Beanley, five year, not aged as much as some of the rums I saw recommended, but this is uh, quite nice and it's also a bit more affordable than those really aged Caribbean rums. But I'm going with two ounces or 60 mils of the Beanley. I said I didn't have any Caribbean rums. This is kind of sort of Caribbean rum plantation. The base rums are from uh, various parts of the Caribbean. It's actually blended and bottled in France, the plantation. Now, this one is an overproof 69% alcohol. Thought, hey, let's have a bit of fun. We all just go half a shot of the overproof rum. Now we go for half an ounce of orange curacao. Go for another Australian product from Marionette. Uh, it's very nice. This is a, a drier curacao, which is 15 mils, half an ounce of that going in. This is a cheeky addition you'll see in some recipes, but it's not standard, uh, but I really like this. So I'm going to put just a splash, like quarter of an ounce, seven and a half mils of Velvet Falernum, which is uh, from Barbados. It is essentially uh, a rum liqueur. Uh, so it's a thicker, sweeter, got some herbal notes that rum doesn't have. Uh, it's a fun little touch to it. We're also adding three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Give it a nice tart, fruity edge. Finally, we're going to add half an ounce of sugar syrup. This is actually a blend. It's half orgeat and almond syrup. So quarter of an ounce, seven and a half mils of orgeat and quarter of an ounce of sugar syrup. In we go. We give this a shake for about 10 seconds. When your shaker gets very cold to hold, a little frosty, you know you've given it a good shake. And I'm going to strain that into a coop. I do not have my strainer, I put it over here. Uh, I think that's how the professionals do it, just leave stuff that they need. So with uh, my strainer, not going to bother to fine strain this, uh, just simply into a coop or whatever glass you like to serve it in. Ooh, look at that. Just about the perfect size for this glass. 
put that down, try not to spill anything. Of course, being a tropical drink, you can go to town with garnishes if you like. A bit of orange, a cherry, pineapple fronds. People really do like to make a bit of a show of it. <laughs> not something I often do myself with the garnishes, but uh, I am going to enjoy the drink, I hope. Ah. Yep, I might be in the middle of winter here in Australia, but I can tell why it's been declared Mai Tai Day in America, because it's the middle of summer. This is a great summer drink. Um, the rums blend really well with the curacao getting that fruit flavor, a bit of lemon. No one thing is dominating this. I was almost imagining it had pineapple juice in it, and there's no pineapple juice in it. It's just got that real tropical feel. And like I said, if you look online, you'll find a whole bunch of variations. I saw some recipes that suggested add a touch of amaretto, uh, an, an almond liqueur. Uh, I saw some that even said put a splash of absinthe in it. People who know me might be amazed I didn't add the absinthe. I'm quite fond of absinthe. But uh, I thought I'd keep it more tropical than that. Um, but yeah, Mai Tai is something you can have fun with. You can keep it really simple, just rum, curacao and lime and a bit of sweetener, or you can play around, use different rums, uh, get some different tastes in there. Basically, Mai Tai is a bit of a glass of fun, uh, and uh, that's what we want, an enjoyable drink. So I'd be interested uh, if you have a favorite variant of a Mai Tai, tell me about it. Oh, this is a really good drink. I'm going to really enjoy drinking this when the camera's off. So if you make one yourself, I hope you enjoy it as well. Now, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, it would be great if you did. Uh, hit the little alarm bell. That way you get a notification when I upload a video so you can get the latest recipes or tips from me. Uh, and hey, tell your friends. Tell them that they're missing out. They need to get them in amongst the angry cocktails. Uh, and I've got a few interesting ideas coming up, not just purely about cocktails, but I've also been making a few syrups and uh, little additives that you make for cocktails. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, stay tuned. But in the meantime, take care of yourself. I hope to see you again soon. For now, I'll say cheers.